you ran two shows uh, on Lok Sabha TV during the Congress regime. Uh, was the salary paid by the state exchequer or was it pri being privately paid? It was paid by the Parliament of India, by the people who ran Lok Sabha television. It was their decision to select me. You were also running a private media institute during that period. I was the founder director of the School of Convergence, which was a privately set up media educational institute. The people who were in charge of Lok Sabha television, they were fully aware of what I was doing. The question is that you ran two shows uh, on Lok Sabha TV during the Congress regime between 2007 and 2007. UPA regime. Yeah, the UPA regime. On what basis were you uh, hired as a consultant? <laughs> uh, was the salary paid by the state exchequer or was it pri being privately paid? It was paid by the Parliament of India. Right. It was paid by the Secretary Secretariat of the Parliament of India. But the decision to select me as a consultant and over a period of eight years, not continuously, there were gaps when my contract was renewed or not renewed, was a decision taken at that time by the people who ran Lok Sabha television. Among the various people who headed Lok Sabha television at that time was Sri Bhaskar Ghosh and uh, there were other people yes. too at the day it was their decision to select me all right yeah you have already answered my question that it was paid by the parliament of india yes but then there is also accusation that you were also running a private media institute during that period i was the founder director of the school of convergence which was a privately set up media educational institute the people who were in charge of Lok Sabha television, they were fully aware of what I was doing. I was a consultant, I was not an employee. So there was no violation of any law, of any agreement, and my conscience is absolutely clear. And even though, even though, it was the UPA government in power, Sri Manmohan Singh was the Prime Minister of India, I did several programs which were critical of the government. I got several individuals on the program who were not supporters of the government. And that included people who were then in the opposition who belonged to the Bharti Janta Party. And by the way, this yeah. is not the first time I did a television program. For six years, I was a full-time idiot on the idiot box with CNBC Television 18. For a period of almost six years, about 800, 1,800 programs were done. In fact, I can tell you the names of five people who I wanted to interview, but I could not. These five people you want to know who I could not interview? Yeah, sure. Sonia Gandhi, Jailalitha, the late Dhirubhai Ambani, Ratan Tata, and Harshad Mehta. Harshad Mehta came to my studio, my, the studio where I used to work at that time. He was there. He said I could not ask him some questions, certain questions. <coughs> so I said, you have the right not to answer my questions, but give me the right to ask you the questions. So the interview never happened. So uh, you said that you used to criticize the government when you were working with the Lok Sabha. I you have... Let me just finish yeah. the question, sir. So you, ha you ran specific shows on the then Chhattisgarh Chief Minister, the BJP Chief Minister Raman Singh and uh, you persisted on that for a long time. Can you, do you remember any, why, any of such why, shows? Why, 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 why only Raman but, Singh? But do you remember any shows, similar shows on Congress leaders or Congress... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Please, please uh, can Look, you list me down some, some You go to the archives and check, alright? They are close to 50 into 200, more than 300, 400. 300 to 400 programs I did. I asked very critical questions to the people who were in power. They included Congress members of parliament, ministers, and I interviewed several people who talked to me on the 2G spectrum scam, the second generation spectrum scam. I, 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 mean, I was a petitioner in that scam. This is one example. I, I grilled people on the spectrum scam. I am 68 years old. I've been a journalist for the last 46 years. I believe the job of a journalist is to ask questions
to those who are in positions of power and authority. Ask critical questions, not goody goody questions, not questions like "Ab am kaise khate hain, kaat ke khate hain ya choose ke khate hain." Whoever has been in power, you name the political party. I've asked critical questions of their representatives. Okay. I have interviewed not just one Mohan Singh but Atal Bihari Vajpayee. I have interviewed L K Advani. I have interviewed H G Deve Gowda. I have interviewed I K Gujral. I don't think I've, you can go and check the records whether I ask them goody goody questions. Really, really. Several things have been happening which certainly do not make me proud as a patriotic Indian as to what, what the authorities have been doing to suppress and constrain. the working of the independent media okay thank you for such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones don't forget to subscribe to our channel the new indian by clicking on the bell icon also follow us on the social media handles on instagram twitter facebook and ku